Well, it's an incentive to return back to the office. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Vic Carter. And many businesses are getting creative in hopes of recouping its workforce as the country emerges from pandemic shutdown. WJZ is live right outside Horseshoe Casino tonight. Rachel Menetoff shows us how they are trying to entice employees. Rachel. Nicole and Vic, the casino is offering a paid training program, a guaranteed minimum salary and bonuses too. And we talked to one man today who says all year long he's been overworked and underpaid, and this was the opportunity he was waiting for. Let's play some blackjack, huh? Place your bets. Bets are open. Antonio Screnchi is in training. I'll give you two sevens. To become a table games dealer at Fortune Casino. Let me give you that seven first, huh? I was scrolling on Indeed looking for a new opportunity. That's 125 bucks, my friend. And this just kind of sparked an interest. And over here with your flush, you get five to one. I was in the restaurant industry prior to this, so we're, there was definitely some setbacks. Three of 21, very nice. Pandemic closures turned Maryland's workforce upside down. Hospitality as an industry has lost talent. That it's never going to get back. Dante Johnson, the GM at Hotel Revival in Mount Vernon, says at its peak it had 75 employees and probably has about a third of that now and is looking to hire more. Horseshoe Casino lost about 100 of its employees, something it's now trying to regain and assign businesses back. This out of the box idea has created that, that space for us to really work to replenish our workforce in a quick manner. It's offering a minimum salary of $25 per hour, signing bonuses after the first 90 days, and a six week paid training program, no experience necessary. The Maryland Department of Labor says the state added 11,500 jobs and its unemployment rate dropped to 6.1% in May, the lowest it's been since the start of the pandemic. And as pandemic era unemployment benefits of $300 a week are set to expire, many people are exploring new career opportunities. Daryl Conley Jr. says after a year of social distancing. So being the very interactive and being able to communicate with people is something that really drew me to along with getting paid well. Horseshoe Casino is looking to hire 100 new employees, and it still has spots left. If you would like to learn more about this particular program, you can head over to our website where we've posted some more information. Live downtown, I'm Rachel Menetoff for WJZ.